Hello, this is Hector Vladimir. Today is the 26th of June, 2024. Today I want to share a small chat poem, and I call it the Poison Pill. The 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution abolished slavery. The 14th Amendment granted us equal protection under the law to all citizens. The 15th Amendment gave us the right to vote, no matter what race, or other aspects of our personal situation. All of these amendments and others in the U.S. Constitution and in the body of laws of the U.S. and many of the U.S. states don't allow for discrimination. Those anti-discrimination laws and amendments and principles protect a few factors, traits in people, race, religion, gender, social status. So governments, especially Southern Republican, and I would say racist governments, engage in what I call giving out weak poison pills to all of their citizens in hopes of weeding out who they consider undesirables in their societies. These, I believe, are immigrants, blacks, minority, religious groups, or other groups, LGBT community members, and non-religious groups and individuals. In the past, these blatantly discriminatory laws were called the Black Codes. These laws and regulations that these governments, especially in these southern states and some northern states as well, and some western, midwestern states, don't fall too far behind. But these laws and regulations that attack and target these minority groups were called after the United States Civil War, the Black Codes, and later transformed into Jim Crow laws, which I invite you to look at those if you're not familiar with those Black Codes and Jim Crow laws. Since the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments, these are no longer permitted. They were for a long time after the Civil War, but through the passing of those amendments, luckily and thankfully, those are no longer legal by the law of the land, by the United States Constitution. However, states like Florida, Georgia, Alabama, perhaps Louisiana, Shirley, Texas, and Arizona, and perhaps some other states have passed and engaged in passing laws that are pretty much the follow-up, the reincarnation of these Black Codes and Jim Crow laws, such as the Florida anti-gay laws. Many, if not most, of the drug offense laws, the tightening of the punishment for drug offenses, even nonviolent ones, anti-protest laws that we saw pass in mass after the George Floyd protests in 2020, also the Confederate Monument protection laws, so they are dubbed from Georgia, also from Georgia are the anti-black vote laws, so are they dubbed, and also the anti-immigration laws of Florida, Texas, Arizona and perhaps some other states. Also laws that target these groups are anti-gun control laws, knowing that control laws for guns benefit these groups. Therefore, anti-gun control laws harm these groups. These and more are what I call the weak poison pills given to entire state populations with the precise knowledge and intent that mostly the weak, meek, poor, destitute, powerless, and underpaid minority groups, which overwhelmingly and disproportionately make up these minority groups, are the ones affected by them. These lawmakers that promote and enact these laws and the whole following below them know exactly who is the target. And although a tiny few of their own may fall due to these poison pills or laws, they are more than willing to make the small sacrifice in the name of maintaining their greedy and selfish grip on power, to keep the power to hoard, control, abuse, and to expand and suppress all at the cost and the detriment of what they consider their subjects, less deserving, weaker, inferior peoples. This is a racist legacy passed down from generations of slavery, violence, theft, and genocide a follow-up to Jim Crow and a slick workaround to the few good words in our Constitution. It is a shameful and evil practice done by the powerful 
and selfishly supported by the ignorant, prejudiced, and malicious majority.